professional attire. Oh shit, what is that? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to be showing you how to create a professional headshot using an existing photo in Canva. This is perfect if you need a quick profile picture update for your LinkedIn, Indeed, or any other job boards, or if you just need a new photo for your personal business and you don't have the resources or time to get a professional picture taken. If you're not familiar with Canva, it's a user-friendly platform that allows you to create all sorts of designs, even if you're not a graphic designer. So if you're interested in learning how to create your own professional headshot, then just keep on watching. So let's start by opening up Canva. If you don't have an account, you can sign up for one for free. Um, note that you will need a premium membership to access some of these features. Um, so if you aren't a member, you can sign up for a seven day free trial and then cancel once you're finished. So once you are logged in, let's create a new design. So we'll click on create a design in the top right corner. And then from here, we can just type in profile picture since we are looking for a professional headshot. And then I'm just gonna go to LinkedIn for this example. So let's begin by uploading your photo. So to upload your photo, you're gonna click uploads over here to the left upload file and then we're going to select the image that you want so i took two pictures of myself um trying to see which one i would like um i'll pick the one that's a little bit further away just for um example purposes <laughs> so we're going to click on that once that is uploaded we'll just drag it over now we want to crop this image to focus on what we need to focus on, which is my face. And I'm also going to crop out a little bit of the bottom here because we don't need all of that. So the next thing we want to do is get rid of this background here. So what we're gonna do is click on the photo and click edit photo. And then you see here we have background remover. This little crown here lets you know that this is a premium member feature. So you will need to have premium access in order to use this. But if you don't want to remove your background and then you're, you've taken a picture and you know, a decent background where it's just plain and um, you don't want to do that, you can also opt to just use magic edit instead of um, completely removing your background but I prefer to remove the background just to um, you know have it a little bit more clean so I'm just gonna click background remover you know sometimes you'll have like other objects or people in the background that you don't want visible so you can select this to remove that background and now it does have my chair in this background so I do want to make sure that I take that away. So what I'm going to do is use the magic eraser as well. Um, I don't recommend this just because it can get really choppy, but for this sake, um, it's just removing this chair so it shouldn't be too much. So I'm just going to remove that. And this is also a premium feature. So we're just going to remove the chair. Okay, now that looks good. So now we can go back and now we have a clean photo to work with. Like I said, sometimes you'll have to manually remove this stuff, but um, this looks good so far. So now what we want to do, once you have removed your background, you can edit this further um, by clicking on the element and then clicking magic edit. So this is my favorite part of this. Um, this is the main part of it, honestly. So what you're gonna do is brush over the areas that you want to change. So for instance, I don't want this shirt. 
So I'm going to just brush over all of the areas where my shirt is visible. And don't worry about, you know, if you have your hair right there. Um, depending on the way you, you edit the photo or, you know, you brush it over the photo, a lot of the times it kind of works with you and it either replaces your hair or doesn't like touch it really. Um, so for this, I'm just going to make sure I get as much as possible. And then, then you can also um, adjust the brush size. And here, I'm gonna actually zoom in a little bit just so I can get these smaller areas that are a little hard to reach. I think this looks pretty good. Actually, I can clean this up a little bit. Just wanna make sure you, that you get all of the areas that you need to get. And that's pretty much what I wanna change. I think, you know, everything else looks fine, obviously. I wanna keep my face. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to change um, the shirt. So in order to change the shirt, you just want to go to the next step, which is describe your edit. And for this purpose, I'm just gonna put professional blouse. Um, you can play around with the words, um, you know, to change. You see here, like they give you inspiration, change color to red, add a base, blah, blah, blah. Um, but we don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna do professional blouse and click generate. Oh my goodness. So as you can see here, um, it gave me a bunch of random generations. That's why I said it's best to play around with it. Um, this looks like old lady clothing, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna go back to, or actually before I go back to describe your edit, I'm gonna click generate new results just to see if they can come up with something better. Um, and if not, then I'll go back to describe your edit. Yeah, so it's looking real crazy right now. So let's go back and do something else. Let's do laser top. Let's try that and see what they come up with. Okay, now they got me looking even crazier. Professional blazer. With AI, it's really tricky. It gets like really wonky. So you have to play around with it just to get, you know, the results that you want. Okay. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's giving me <laughs> some interesting results here. Um, let me see. I don't really like any of these, but it's getting closer. So I'm going to generate new results. not the best so yeah like i said you just have to keep playing around with it what i'm going to do now since it's being a little weird i'm going to um brush over my hair and see if that helps so instead of keeping this hair it's just going to make it shorter but it'll also help with the way the shirt looks hopefully so yeah like i said you just have to kind of play around with this but I do think this is a very useful tool when you want to create a professional headshot. So let's try professional attire. Oh shit, what is that?
I'm trying professional shirt. This probably wasn't the best sweater to wear, honestly, because it has the collar. Okay, professional women's shirt. And professional, yeah, professional women's shirt. Let's try that. Honestly, this, it shouldn't take this long. I created a professional headshot already using Canva and it wasn't this hard. What is this? Ugh, you're really giving me some crazy stuff right now. I'm gonna try this one more time. Okay, this isn't too bad. It's getting there, it's, it gave me a bow tie. Um, this one doesn't look too bad, but I do wanna change it. It does look very AI generated. So we're just going to change that. Okay. This one actually isn't too bad. The only thing is my hair looks a little weird, but honestly, this looks better than anything else that I have seen. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's take a look at these. They gave me a hand. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how I generated my hand, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. After all of that, I think this one looks the best. So I'm gonna click done on that. And since this is a headshot, I don't really need this full thing. Um, and since it kind of messed up my hair here or just gave it a different color, I'm just gonna move or crop it up a little bit to where that isn't visible, but I still can see I can still see, you know, the professional attires. Um, if you want to enhance your photo even further, you can, you know, click on the element and then they also have, you know, filters and other effects here. So if you want to make it a little bit more warm, you can also do that. I kind of like that effect. Um, cool, vivid, or anything you would like. But I, I honestly think this warm, the body filter looks pretty good on this. So I'm gonna keep that and then just lower the intensity a little. But yeah, I think this looks like a pretty good headshot. Okay, so now that the photo is done and to your liking, we want to add a nice background to this. So what I'm gonna do is click on elements and we're gonna do, um, just type in background. Then you can see they have various different backgrounds you can use. Um, I, for this sake, I wanna keep it simple. Um, so we're just gonna click this one um, and then we're going to send it or we're going to set image as background. So now we have this as our background and you can adjust it if you want to make it a little bigger. Now we have this as our background and it looks all nice. So once you're done with that, you can adjust and make it fit the the page there we have it a, a nice headshot so once you're satisfied with your headshot you can download it by clicking share here and then clicking download and you can save it as either a PNG or a JPG um, I'll just keep it as PNG 
we're gonna download that here and there you have it a profile picture and just to show you i will go to my linkedin and actually i'll show you first the picture i've already created or this is what i've already created for oops this is my headshot that i've already created for my linkedin so i did take a picture that looked like this first this was the original photo of me and my time in dc very cute very cute and i transformed that into this so i changed this into a nice professional top and this one in my opinion looks a lot better um so if you have a photo that is more similar to what i had in this photo then that probably worked better but just for explanatory purposes example purposes um that's what this one kind of turned out to be um but yeah this is one from an existing photo i just had laying around and this is one i just took myself like right now um so yeah i'm just gonna give you a little example by going to my linkedin and changing my profile picture we want to add photo and we're going to upload a photo and we're going to use this one so now you have a professional headshot and you can zoom and adjust as needed so for this i kind of did zoom in a lot so if you want to zoom out <laughs> you can of course um but this is what that would look like so we can just save the photo there a little refresh sometimes it takes linkedin a bit to change but here we have it um a new headshot photo right here and it looks nice and professional honestly i could have taken a regular headshot in this sweater i think this is work appropriate but just for the sake of the video and trying to show you guys how you can change your you know clothes if you are wearing something that's a little more revealing or just something that you don't think is professional you can easily change that using canva and there you have it so you've just created a professional headshot using canva no professional photographers needed no crazy lighting nothing you have it all at your fingertips. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you all so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye y'all.